circuit of our engines. I just thought I'd show you what's going on here. Um, it's 2021 uh, February. In spite of the lockdown, I'm still working hard. Um, just finished this 100% plywood shipping crate because it complies with new legislation. And you'll see here I've got a selection of fantastic parts for two via sevens which I'm building and uh, they've come back from my professional shot blasting military spec primer and epoxy painting place and I've snagged them and put extra um, etch primer and uh, prep on all of the bits so this is really good fantastic I've got two of these engines done that there is a via 12 I already finished to this standard um, so I thought I'd do some via 7s to match now there's economy versions but these are immaculate so what happens these are in my lounge for um, dry storage when they're finished or if they're an immaculate concourse and I'll just show you what's going on now because it's been Good fun. I'm a bit OCD about these engines and perfectionists. Like, I've gone through all of my crankshaft pins and bearings this week and thrown out pins with even the slightest little imperfections on them inside the crankshafts. Thrown out any issues even after cleaned up and inspected. And I've got some bearings here which are okay. Like, these are not. Those are okay. I use those in economy engines, but um, what I've done is I completely rebuilt the crankshafts now. So these are immaculate. I've even got my signature on them. They're one thousandth of an inch true. Um, it's got new bearings in there. That particular one has got a brand new pin in, and um, the Conrod airings are really good, and they've all been rebuilt. There's the second one I've already finished. So, those are going to be for these two immaculate engines, the rest of the parts, and I've selected the best set of castings now to build this fire 7 from, which is this set. And you can see, just like the ones in my lounge, they've just come from here, from there, and they've been um, shot blasted. They're from a late low hours engine, which was running fine anyway. But I used it as a donor to create something special. So my company has taken these parts and shot blasted them, all of the rust off. Then they put on a type of Jotun um, primer, which is illegal in the EU and most places because it contains dangerous solvents that are now banned. But that particular spray finisher has got a license to use it because he does stuff for the military and he uses the same stuff for me and then that's had about four coats of two pack epoxy sprayed on and it's slow to dry this stuff hardens overnight he's done that about three times and then when it's come back here as you can see from the mask intake i've just gone through and snagged anything which he masked off and um, didn't, and I've de-rusted and done this with primer as well. So all these parts are finished to this incredibly high standard. I um, suspect it's better than when they were new. And these are all very good parts from late engine. And I'm now ready to build. So I'm going to be putting new seals in here, my new crankshafts that I've just showed you. And this is going to be a wonderful, wonderful engine. You'll see when it's finished. I'll give you an update um, later this month probably. You'll see how good it is. Now just stepping back here for a second. This is a via 12, I have finished. This is not a professional finish, this is my own finish. But this engine is gonna be much more valuable, long lasting and attractive. Um, so that's kind of what we're aiming for finished engine that's a via 12 and this via 7 is going to surpass that when it's finished it's going to look absolutely fantastic so watch this space and um, hopefully i'll give you an update at the end of february or march 
that this or maybe other engines as well are finished. It takes me about two weeks work to do with this engines and it's got special parts going in it. Uh, I've got these stainless steel main bearings which uh, you don't normally get in any via. I put them in from new and we've got this specially refinished pump shaft. You see the black tape is covering stainless steel now so that will never fail. That's another part which they didn't have when they were new. So this is now going to be a salt water tolerant engine and um, you know I do the carburetors here as you know um, and I, I do them new from original kits and test them and refurbish them and this will be one of the strengths of this engine um, it's not only salt water tolerant but it'll have brand new contact points which are Bosch mirror finished ones and a properly tuned carburetor so it's ready for action and nothing for you to do but um, the engines in the past did get a reputation because people assumed it was a kind of engine like a diesel you could just ignore once it's installed under the floor you cannot do that with a via because uh, it has a carburetor made of aluminium and an electrical generated spark so the points need to be kept clean pretty much that and the salt water issues are the only problems and um, as you know I also do the core plugs in the cylinder they will go in and they are stainless steel of course I don't use ones that will rot I had them specially manufactured so the main bearings the core plugs and the pump shaft in stainless overcomes the salt water problems that gave this engine some problems if you didn't do those it all gets done here and um, the specification of finish is as I say higher than you would possibly get that's why these stack up if you don't recognize the engine the way that these castings go together is just you know fairly easy to imagine I suppose you go like this and then the gearbox goes on the back this is pretty tricky to do with one hand Okay, you're starting to see an engine now. And then, of course, the cylinder will go on the front. Something like that. And then your exhaust. I wish it was this simple to build a real engine. We'll go over. Various gaskets and a thousand procedures to do. And you'll end up with a via 7 and uh, these other bits that's the flywheel that's the output coupling for the gearbox and even the gear lever so everything else is easy <laughs> but you see the point here if you want to do a really professional job what you do is you strip a working engine you find all of the faults if any at that point and when you've got an engine which is immaculate and working and stripped then you shot blast every single piece of corrosion or weakness out of it you do a type of primer that will resist rust for decades and then you finish with something which is petrol tolerant knock proof and easy to clean and corrosion resistant and you've then got a set of parts you haven't got an engine, but if you try to paint an engine quick over the top, <clears throat> and many owners have done this, what happens is you don't know what's going on inside, and it just cover up a load of problems and make it difficult to service, because you don't know, for instance, when you try to take the drain plug out the cylinder, whether it's unblocked or a good thread, until you break through somebody's paint to do it. And you don't know if this core plug is good inside. In fact, I can see that one's rotten and is about to spring a leak. Um, this is what happens if you get an engine which is just painted on the outside. But if you look at my assembly, see this nut on the VAR-12 I finished? You, that nut's not covered in paint. And the gasket you can see is not painted. That proves that this engine's been painted before assembly and not afterwards. 
and so everything in there has been checked and um, scrutinized if you get an engine which has just got paint all over it and that's great for stopping the corrosion getting in but maybe the corrosion got in that engine before the paint was put on top and they've just done it to make it look nice so with my engines you can see that it's been inspected and all of the corrosion taken out before assembly and that's a really nice feeling when you've got an engine like this everything's going to work and it's got no residual corrosion from the time before it was built as well built so this is nick from via engines so please support me as i support all of you i'll give you an update later on in a month cheers